Oh yeah. What is breathable? First, let's took let's took let's take a look at the test stand here. Around back, we have all of the support equipment. We have an expansion tank, and we have uh, radiators to cool down that expansion tank. But right now, we're using ice because I would like to bring the expansion tank uh, pressure up a little bit. Right now, it's below a megapascal, but I would like it to be a little bit more. We have uh, two air conditioners keeping the temperature in both test rooms at exactly 25 degrees C. And we have one filter uh, removing everything that is not oxygen. So these two environments are pure oxygen. In real life, this would be super dangerous. Uh, but who cares? Um, then we got an IC that's controlling the atmospherics. And one RTG to run everything. And me. See, here I am. Hi! 100% oxygen, a little tiny bit of nitrogen, and a little tiny bit of carbon dioxide, but that doesn't matter. Two valves here to keep the uh, pressure at um, 100 kilopascals. Uh, we will turn uh, the pressure valve off, but keep the pre back pressure on. And now we will... We will create some nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide, here we go. Boop. And now we will raise the pressure. Until the character starts choking to death. Well, I seem to be panting now, um, and I'm losing consciousness. Um, so, uh, NOS is actually knocking me out, and it started at about 5%. So let's stop this. We'll hold it at 5%, and see if we get any more knockout. So, NOS doesn't look to be poisonous, which is not in real life. It's uh, it actually is something that uh, that they use in operations and most commonly in um, dentistry, and it's just it, they call it laughing gas because it makes you silly. And I think they used to use it in parties in Victorian time to uh, to uh, make each other um, laugh and and get girls to be um, um, more promiscuous. Yeah, so um, uh, just looking quickly at uh, Wikipedia while my character continues to huff and puff. Um, uh, beginning in uh, 1799, they had things called laughing gas parties where they would take nitrous oxide and they would um, breathe it in uh, together. One at a time, they would have masks. Um, and... Um, Giggle and have sex, basically. <laughs> I'm guessing at the have sex part. It's 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 very um, uh, it's implied. Nowadays, uh, they sometimes call it whippets, and I didn't know that was what uh, whippets were. I thought whippets were, you know, just breathing in nitrogen because that makes you uh, loopy. I didn't I, I didn't think that nitrous nitrous oxide was in. Um, dispensable, like, like, uh, um, 
whipped cream and stuff like that, and and sp uh, sp uh, spray cheese. I thought it was actually just plain nitrogen, but I guess it's nitrous oxide. The strange things I know and strange things I don't know. So at 5%, she seems to be holding at a, a 2% um, on consciousness. So let's, let's raise this up a bit. We'll go back to 100 and raise it up, raise it up slowly. I'm guessing it's one part per 50 for the nitrous oxide to be knockout gas. Cognition low. Okay, cognition, uh, the consciousness seems to be going down exponentially now. Oh yeah, and as soon as we're at 10%, we are going down quickly. Well, let's just make sure we can get fresh air in here once we're knocked out. And the effect of consciousness seems exponential instead of linear. So at two percent, at one, at about five percent, you get about two percent uh, conscious uh, deprivation, but that's stable. It doesn't go down any further. But as soon as you start sucking it down past eight percent, it seems like your consciousness um, recovers. And it also seems like the fact that we're getting a lot of airflow. Um, helps us recover quite a bit too because we're still above 5% NOS but um, we're not falling unconscious now if I stop it from could also be the pressure level so even though we're at 92% uh, um, oxygen um, there wasn't a lot of moles of nitrous oxide so there seems to be an odd relationship there. There, It's not ratio-driven. It seems to be pressure-driven with the NOS. And um, I got a comment on one of my videos that pretty much said that... Um, wow, that's a complex name. Snippus Maximus. Okay, not that complicated. Snippus Maximus uh, mentioned that it's uh, possible um, that it's uh, that it's pressure driven, but um, nitrous is not poisonous. It's just a knockout gas, uh, which is what it is in real life. So uh, let's allow our atmosphere to recover here. Okay, now our atmosphere is back to mostly oxygen, ninety-nine point eight percent oxygen. And the next thing we're going to test is, uh, let's test pollution. Now this, um, inside the game files, is chlorine. Now chlorine is pretty toxic to humans. So I'm probably going to guess that it's going to be a very low level where this starts getting um, uncomfortable for the character. Let's, uh, let's eat up first. We'll take off all of our crap. There we go. And now, uh, yep, that's off. No, we want that on. We want this off because we want to maintain a certain pressure ma pressure rating. So we'll go to one ten. 
will stand. Ooh, it don't like that. So toxin detected. Almost nothing. Toxin critical. Almost nothing. Uh, we're not losing consciousness yet, but we could be damaging our body. But uh, uh, even as low as 1% chlorine. Now, you might have noticed that we have two uh, test chambers. That chamber is at uh, 50 kPa, and we will be repeating the experiments over there in a second. Okay, let's, uh, let's stop this one from complaining. Toxin detected. And we'll, we'll flush out our helmet. Critical. Okay, so very little uh, chlorine will make us uh, very uncomfortable. So let's let's vacuum this out again. Okay, we've once again reset our air. Um, so we've gone with nitrous oxide, which seems to be okay up to at uh, one hundred kilopascals, up to about five percent, and it reduces our consciousness by two percent, which doesn't seem to affect anything. And we can sit there seemingly indefinitely, but. Once we get above 8%, 7-8%, closer to 10%, we start falling unconscious uh, rather rapidly. But um, it can be corrected very easily. We can recover from it very easily. So the last one is volatiles. We're not going to be testing um, carbon dioxide and... Uh, no, not nitrogen. Well, we are not going to be testing um, nitrogen or carbon dioxide because it seems like um, we can um, stand, uh, we can whatever, those two gases up to a very high level. It seems like carbon dioxide in this game is considered an inert gas like nitrogen. Nitrogen would be an inert gas. So um, we can... We as human beings in the real world can withstand uh, any level of nitrogen just as long as there's enough oxygen in the level to oxygenate our blood for the hemoglobin to, to grab onto it. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what the precise level of that is. I think it's, I think it's actually fairly low. A nitrox mixture of, uh, I think, 5% in your... You know, you're not doing super well, but I think you're okay. I'm not exactly 100% sure. I'm not going to look it up because it doesn't really matter. Um, but with carbon dioxide, if you go above 13% carbon dioxide, um, you're pretty much dead. You will be dead sooner or later. Um, okay, now we've got the, the um, volatiles in here. Let's put that up to... Uh, 110. Toxin detected. Oh, that's immediate. Toxin detected. Oh, yeah, I'm already starting to cough and we're not, even, ab we're not even above. Oh, and I'm taking damage much quicker than I was with the nitrous oxide. So, uh, volatiles are very, or not nitrous oxide, the uh, chlorine, which is... Okay, let's put the helmet on. Toxin put everything detected. on. Flush the helmet. And we'll start venting. So, um, chlorine and volatiles, very, uh, very deadly in game. And you'll start. Uh, I think I've sustained permanent damage with the uh, volatiles. Now, it could be that I sustained some damage with the, um, uh, with the chlorine as well. We can't actually see the, um, uh, a hidden trait, but your lungs are actually an organ. Your brain is an organ, too, um, in the game. If you look inside the save files, 
uh, your brain and your lungs uh, are two different entities and they can sustain individual damages along with your body. Um, I wish there was an indicator if you've had damage to your lungs or not, but I guess if you have damage to your lungs, you don't really notice. I have uh, super, super bad asthma, almost to the point of COPD. Um, and I don't feel any different than any other time in my life. So I know that I have those things, but I can't really describe to you what it feels like to have them because I don't know what it's like not to have them. But I would think that if my lungs got worse, like when I'm having an attack, I know that I'm having an attack. So I don't know. It would be nice to have some kind of indicator. Maybe if the character wheezed, that would be a great a great thing. If your if your if your lungs are damaged, your character will wheeze, and maybe they can even put Ventolin in the game. That is really stupid. I don't even know why I suggested that. Oh, let's reset the atmosphere. Now we're in our 50 kilopascal room, and uh, let's do the exact same test over again, but in reverse. We'll start with volatiles because uh, we know that we're going to react the worst to that. And there is a little bit of garbage in here. Um, everything is is below 0.1%, so um, it shouldn't be um, that bad. Uh, if this was a real scientific test, we'd want to clear it out right down to, to zero uh, to uh, vacuum and then put just pure oxygen in here. But uh, that would take too much time and effort for a video game. And let's go and put this up to 110. And we should start coughing instantaneously. Oh, yeah. So, criticality, critical, criticality occurred pretty low here. Let's, uh... Let's clear this out. Now, I did let the volatiles in a little fast, so let's try that again. Um, but we'll let them in a little, a little slower this time. Now, we're still receiving damage. Um, I, I, I haven't cleared the, uh, um, the volatiles detected, so it's still being detected. We're at, we're at one percent, but we're not coughing. So let's bring this up to the point where we start coughing. But we'll do it very slowly. So we get a, a little bit. Oh, once it hit 1%, we are done. So I, th um, I, I kind of think over there was 1% as well, but I'm not 100% certain on that, actually. It seemed to, um, we seemed to start coughing earlier back there. But as soon as it's under 1%, we stop coughing. So I think volatiles are most definitely a ratio. So let's clear it out, out again. Okay, we've reset our atmosphere once again. And uh, we've got very low rates. And we will go to chlorine now. Listed as pollutant, but it is chlorine in the game. And chlorine is also extremely uh, deadly to humans. Think mustard gas. And we'll also do this one slowly. I'm expecting at about 1% we're going to start choking as well. Toxin detected. Yep. Hydration critical. At one percent, we start choking. So, um, it seems like at any pressure, um, a ratio of uh, one hundred of uh, of one percent um, um, 
volatiles or um, pollutant is uh, toxic. And we'll reset the gas one more time. And of course that's ratioed. So it's 100%, it's a 100 to 1 in pure oxygen. So it may be different in, um, let's say if you have a mixture of nitrous, uh, nitrogen and carbon dioxide. So it could be 100 to 1 compared to oxygen. So if you had um, 50 oxygen, uh, let's say 50 moles of oxygen, let's just use moles for an instant for a moment because that's um, um, that's a more measuring number. I don't know. That's 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 a that's not a relative number. That's an absolute number. So you have you have 50 moles of oxygen and one mole of uh, volatiles or one mole of chlorine. Uh, that would be considered uh, toxic. And then you could have like 50 moles of nitrogen on top of that, and it wouldn't be um, it wouldn't affect um, how bad you respond. We don't know that because um, all we're using right now is pure oxygen and pure other stuff. So uh, one percent seems to be the uh, the um, the thing of a blob. We might try nitrogen um, in the 100 kilopascal room because that will be extremely easy to replicate. But we're only going to do it for one gas if we do it. And now that I said it, I have to do it unless I cut this whole part out. Okay, we've reset our gas, and I also looked up um, how nitrous oxide enters the body. And it enters the body in the exact same way oxygen does. It actually binds to hemoglobin, whereas I don't think chlorine or hydrocarbons do, because that's what the volatiles are. They're hydrocarbons, and specifically, um, it is probably hydromethane? Something methane. Uh, it's... Um, it's a, a a chlorine molecule, a hydrogen molecule, and four carbon molecules. I think. Uh, I don't know. I updated the Wikipedia, and then someone uh, very kindly made it made uh, rewrote it rewrote it so it made more sense. So the the, the possible molecule is is there, and I have uh, an experiment. Um, um, a few experiments ago where I'm actually showing the uh, energy limits of um, the networks in game and I explain the differences sort of explain the differences between those between those molecules and there's there's a there's a bunch of them and they're basically used in refrigerant and and stuff like that so the last thing we're gonna we're gonna try again is nitrous oxide uh, okay and I am not expecting this one to be a ratio. I'm expecting this one to be an absolute value. So as soon as uh, we get like a certain amount in the air, we'll start going unconscious. Uh, because we're using 100% uh, oxygen, um, it will it will look like a ratio, but um, I don't expect it to be a ratio. And here we go. Now we're getting close to the uh, 5% that uh, we saw that our consciousness went down 2% um, in the other room at uh, at 100 megapascals. So at 50 megapascals, again, because we're using um, nearly 100% oxygen, we should see it at the same, at the same level. Uh, but if this, uh, if this was being modeled in the correct way, the nitrous ox oxide should be replacing oxygen as we breathe. So the so this the 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 amount of oxygen and nitrous oxide binding to our hemoglobin should be um, at whatever the ratio is of the two gases. Whereas um, volatiles and chlorine wouldn't bind. I do believe that it's it gets dissolved in blood serum. And that elevates the levels, which is the same thing that happens with uh, carbon dioxide. They don't bind to to the um, hemoglobin; they they're dissolved as a gas 
in the um, in our in our bloodstream. But we're above five percent, and we're not um, we're not fully unconscious. So it could be that this is coded to be an absolute level that we need a certain number of moles before we start going unconscious, which I think would be incorrect scientifically anyways. So if that's true, we would expect that we need twice as much NOS now. Okay, so we have the expected incorrect response here that we now have to get to 10% to have a 2% reduction in our uh, consciousness. And we're displacing, we're now displacing 80% um, of our um, oxygen. So in real life, biologically, um, I, hemoglobin doesn't know the difference between oxygen and nitrous oxide. It's a chemical reaction, I believe. It could also be, it might be a, no, I think it's chemical rather than um, like uh, physical. The, the hemoglobin has a specific shape to it, but I don't think that that would affect the uptake of like the comparison between um, oxygen and nitrous oxide and carbon monoxide. Uh, but I, I would have to do some research. This is a video game, so I'm not going to do more research to refresh my memory. But this, this is this is an unexpected um, response. We should see it at the same ratio level, but we don't. So it appears we need a minimum number of moles for the character to respond. Um, whereas, so it's an absolute value instead of a ratio, whereas the other gases seem to be um, a ratio. Now, um, as a final test, uh, we can observe to see if it is a ratio. We'll go back into the 100 kilopascal room but I will replace 50% of the air with nitrogen. And that should tell us, that should give us um, a more specific um, answer about ratios and stuff like that. Like uh, right now our NOS is still above 10%, but the moles have dropped. Uh, so even though we have, we have less uh, molecular oxygen to breathe, we are still... Low um, pressure not responding to the uh, nitrous oxygen oxide. Low. Okay, here we are back in the 100 kilopascal room, uh, so about one bar, and we have approximately 50-50 um, nitrogen and oxygen. We have 162 moles of uh, nitrogen, 162 moles of oxygen, and just through rounding errors, it's almost 50-50, uh, but not quite. Functionally, we have the same molecular oxygen available to us as we did in the 50 kilopascal room, uh, because we should only because, well, uh, pressure differentials are it, 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 it's close to 50 to so this to the same amount. Let's just say it's the same amount. It's a video game. This is not real science. Um, so what we should expect um, if nitrous oxide. Uh, if you need a, a specific amount of nitrous oxide um, to be available to the character to breathe, we will again see us being knocked out at uh, 5%. Now, if it was a ratio, it would be lower, but we already know that it's not a ratio because uh, it took us 10% to get uh, to... Um, to the 2% knockout in the uh, 50 kilopascal room. So we're expecting 5%. And if it's not 5%, then that's an interesting result. So we'll spawn a nitrogen tank in here, nitrous oxide tank in here, Oop. and we will set the pressure to 110, and we'll shut down getting new oxygen in here. And we'll sit and wait for the uh, uh, nitrous oxide to get up to uh, 5%. And we have the expected result. At 
We are start. We are at two percent unconsciousness. Um, we don't need to experiment that a anymore. So uh, nitrous oxide replaces oxygen. Um, now the uh, poisons would be displacing oxygens, but it would also have like a damaging effect on on the uh, human body. But um, displacing the the nitrogen is displacing because it's non-reactive. Um, yeah, that's yeah, okay, that's it. Uh, the nitrogen is displacing the oxygen because it is inert and it's not doing anything to us. Uh, the nitrous oxide is replacing oxygen because the hemoglobin is actually uptaking it. Um, the poisons uh, will do neither. Um, it would uh, um, it accumulates in the in the um, in blood serum. So I think we should see the same percentage once it hits one percent. We should uh, start becoming uncomfortable. I think that's how it works. Let's reset. Uh, let's reset our atmosphere and uh, try it that way. Okay, here we are with the atmospherics reset. Um, again, roughly 50-50 oxygen, nitrogen. A few other uh, bits of crap in the air. But we will spawn a volatile tank in here. Now... If this is a ratio between how much oxygen and how much volatile is in the air, so if the if the volatile is displacing is replacing the oxygen um, for breathability, let's take our helmet off. Um, then we should see 0.5 percent. We start coughing. If it's just a uh, ratio of how much of it of is blah, 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 how much of it is in the air, um, then we should see one percent. If we see 2%, then that's a really interesting result, which we shouldn't get. But let's let's try that now. And we will put it in very slowly. Toxin uh, detected. Ooh, toxin immediately. But we're not coughing. Toxin detected. Okay, so we're coughing very, very early. So that seems to indicate that it is amount of oxygen that it's replacing. So we, I think we we started coughing very close to the 0.5% mark. So <coughs> it is replacing oxygen uh, in this scenario, which um, in reality uh, wouldn't be the case. It wouldn't uh, displace oxygen. It would be compared to... Um, how much is in the in the air so like say if we go for carbon dioxide um, if carbon dioxide is over 10 percent that is you know unhealthy for a human being but it wouldn't matter what the o2 level was if the o2 level was 20 percent versus 40 percent versus 50 percent um, it would still be uh, at the 10 percent level that uh, carbon dioxide would start to bother a real human being because it's not replacing oxygen. It's becoming dissolved in the blood and then it's it's poisoning tissues. Now nitrogen, again nitrogen and carbon dioxide are seem to be considered inert. We can have very high levels of carbon dioxide um, and it doesn't seem to matter. So there is a minimum level of oxygen that we require for our um, character to breathe. And then there is um, uh, a relative percentage uh, of volatiles Hydration and critical. pollutants that we have to avoid to be able to breathe properly. Um, nitrous oxide seems to be an absolute level. So... Um, if we have uh, half the um, atmosphere, we need twice as much nitrous oxide to knock us out. Um, and that's it. While editing, I noticed some inconsistencies uh, in the video and what I was saying. And it turns out that the ratio or the pressure doesn't matter at all for volatiles or X, chlorine. Um, that you need a minimum of two moles for your character to start coughing.
and that's it. If it's if it's even slightly less than two moles, um, you'll get a detected um, a notice, but you won't start taking any damage, and you won't coughing. And maybe the same for NOS. You may need a uh, minimum number of moles um, for it to uh, start knocking you out. Um, it may be the same for oxygen, that you need a minimum number of ol moles, but pressure has nothing to do with it. That's not how it works in real life. Pressure is very important in real life, and the ratios of gases in the air have a are very important. If you are in several times atmosphere, if you are in 10 times atmosphere, let's say, um, and 20% oxygen is the, the minimum in one bar, uh, in one atmosphere, that doesn't mean that 2% oxygen will be fine at uh, at 10 times the atmospheric, at, at the 10 times the pressure level. You still need 20%. That that there may be some leeway with um, um, hemoglobin because hemoglobin uh, works um, by capturing uh, oxygen molecules, but your blood gas uh, is is very um, is very reliant on what pressure you're sitting at. Uh, so if you're at sea level or if you're up a mountain or something, whatever gases they give you in like an emergency room or something uh, is very dependent on, on you know, the, the pressure you're at. So uh, this is, I, I guess the game is, is simplifying this down, but it kind of makes gas mixing a little weird it, and it's and it favors lower gases uh lower pressure levels a bit because you have uh, you have a wide wider margin of error when you're just looking at percentages um but it's it's based on the the minimum number of moles and not mixtures and i am again babbling so see you later